live on Facebook right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Reynoldsburg Community Commission meeting for uh, March 16th, our pre-St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Uh, we will get mo started here momentarily. Tonight we have uh, three commissions, but I think that one of them uh, is actually unable to attend this evening, so we may be skipping the beautification session for uh, another time. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and start with our Arts Commission. Um, unless there are any changes to the agenda, Chair Ruvain, any, any changes to the agenda? All right. We just have, uh, one, we just have uh, one additional piece of new business. All right. So go ahead and uh, take it away from there. Great. Um, so uh, John from the Welcoming and Diversity Committee reached out uh, yesterday, which I think you were CC'd on, and had asked uh, for our participation in assisting to uh, to design uh, some community, uh, I guess, community pride yard signs. Um, that uh, exemplify some of the attributes that, uh, that Reynoldsburg offers. And um, so we're just in the beginning stages of that process, uh, but it's a, uh, a nice way for us to uh, have some spirited collaboration. All right. That sounds like a great idea. I know we're looking forward to a lot of those things. Um, let me know what we can do to help with that as far as any coordination. So the, the quick question was, um, I don't know if you saw in the email, as far as the, uh, the usage of the... Uh, tomato that the city uses. Are we allowed to use that or can we get a license for that? Yeah, we'll, we'll, <coughs> we'll send a branding package out so that way you have all of the particulars to go with it. Wonderful. All right. Uh, the only other previous business is I'm going to provide an update on the sing uh, signal painting opportunity. Uh, as you know, the city of Reynoldsburg is going to be allowing um, basically eight total signal uh, painting opportunities. These are the traffic signal boxes that are located by some of the traffic lights in uh, high visibility areas. Uh, four will be set aside for the school district and they will have the opportunity to kind of create a, um, a uh, artistic theme for those particular ones. Uh, typically, those will be located next to the schools, like at the Livingston campus, Summit campus, things like that. Uh, but we do have four additional that will be open for the community. Uh, we are a little bit on a holding pattern. We are meeting with the vinyl wrap company uh, that is actually going to be hopefully pr producing all of these. Uh, we're just waiting for a meeting for them to kind of get through the logistics of it. Uh, but to give you an idea, the one company that is uh, that seems to be the most frequent and available uh, they actually do the work for Nationwide Arena, the Blue Jackets, things of that nature. So there's a lot of opportunities there for some uh, very specific graphic art designs. They are not going to be designing these in any way. This is what the community is going to do. But those things will then be uh, whatever the community and the schools come up with will have to be able to transfer to them. So that way they can actually print the vinyl itself. Now, uh, if, there, if there's uh, any kind of delay or <clears throat> you need a secondary option, um, there's, there's another local... Uh vinyl place that uh, that I've done some work with. That I okay, yeah, just uh, send that information to me. The biggest issue really is, um, I don't want to say the same, but the, the putting vinyl on the signal boxes, they ha it has to be of a certain level, so that way the boxes don't overheat. And as right. long as that, as long as those qualifications meet, then Typically from there... High, high quality 3M yep. graphics, and then it has to be properly prepped so it doesn't fall off and all that. All things. those fun things. Yep, yep that's great. We'll, we'll take it. Um, so that'll be a good thing. Uh, so hopefully uh, we will have some information on that for the community out uh, within the next week to two weeks at the absolute latest. We're trying to get all that stuff together, but again, trying to get people to come together for uh, for meetings and all of that. I think that's on schedule for a little bit later this week or early next week for my office. Um, beyond that, we are already getting into, the, uh, into that uh, warmer weather, so we've got uh, a number of things coming up for some of the artistic issues, whether it's uh, uh, the uh, music on the cul-de-sac will be coming up. I know those have been already kind of uh, selected as far as uh, the bands. I think that there's a few uh, courts that are still being identified. But then we also have the concerts on the lawn uh, that we are working with. Uh, so hopefully we will have some announcements on some of those uh, participants at our next community commission meeting. That's kind of the internal goal. 
Uh, and then from there, we're looking at expanding some other music offerings at potentially the farmer's market, as well as uh, artist and maker's market, and blues, uh, blues and brews, which will be a little bit later this year. Uh, so there are a number of things that we're working on to kind of increase the, the music availability of everything. And then with the signal boxes starting that off, we'll have that as well. Uh, and for there, any suggestions that come from the art community, please let us know. Um, I know that uh, we've reached out to a couple of individuals that had expressed interest um, to kind of work together, a kind of like a local arts community, as well as the Arts Commission to kind of combine and team up to work together on some opportunities. So we're waiting to see how that comes out. And then um, the uh, schools are interested in it. And now that... Uh, in this case, the, the director uh, for the Eastland Fairfield Career Center was actually acting in a play recently. Uh, so now that that, that that play has run its course, uh, he has a little bit more free time. So we're going to try and connect that out for any potential theater offerings uh, for our, our local community. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there with uh, acting skills uh, right. that would be able to participate in that. Sounds great. All right. Um, and the last thing, again, Tomato Festival uh, is that obviously our big one. We hope, hope, hope. Uh, that we will be able to announce uh, who our bands are for all three nights. We have two of them confirmed, but we can't announce them just yet. We're, again, hoping to do that at our first Tomato Festival volunteer meeting here at City Hall on the uh, first Tuesday in April, which I believe that is going to be um, April 5th. Um, so hopefully on April 5th you come out and join us here. Uh, for some information about that, um, we're also trying to look at a number of different other options to increase some of the artistic ability, kind of like an arts walkway, potentially, things like that, all the way throughout the Tomato Festival. If there's nothing else, is there anything else from the Arts Commission for the evening? Nothing further. All right. Um, for those of you playing at home, if you are watching, uh, thank you. Um, if you are uh, one of the members, one of the things that actually just recently occurred in the state is the availability to uh, do a remote uh, commission meeting. So I know earlier during the times of COVID when we had a little bit better of attendance, we could actually do these meetings remotely. Um, thankfully, the State House and the governor had actually signed a law that now will allow us to do that as well. So that may be an opportunity where we uh, try and bring back a Zoom format to hopefully maybe it's a little bit more convenient for people to attend via Zoom uh, than actually coming down um, through Main Street uh, with all of our wonderful uh, road construction that we're still working on. Uh, so we'll see about that uh, for the next time around. In the meantime, if there's nothing else, I'll go ahead and close the Arts Commission meeting and thank all of you for your uh, support. And we will move on to our next one. All right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we had a last moment cancellation for the beautification committee, but I did want to come up with a couple of things for them. Uh, one, we do have an adopt a road uh, program, so eligible roads do remain. We actually have 16 roads that have been identified as uh, higher level uh, in terms of some of the uh, litter that we see in the area. So if you're interested in uh, sponsoring that, you don't have to be a com like a group or a community organization. You can even be a family. Uh, so please check out our website for more information on that. We also have our community cleanup day on April 23rd, where we'll be doing some city hall work here, uh, including our shredded truck, uh, donation for bicycles, uh, electronics donations, things of that nature, to go ahead and take care of those, uh, as well as some other options that we hope to clear out, including some stream cleanup uh, over at French Run Creek to actually go through and pull some of that stuff out. Uh, we also have a potential composting opportunity. Uh, we're talking with an organization that would like to see a potential of up to 500 residents participate in a pilot program uh, to see about the value of whether or not composting is something that would like to be done further on in the city. Uh, it's a little bit early for details, but the, re uh, the most of the function would be that you would be provided uh, a container that uh, would uh, receive the compostable materials, and then uh, that will be picked up approximately around the same time as trash is, give or take a day, and then uh, that would be for a limited amount of time, I believe just a few months, just to see what the uh, response rate would be. So hopefully that'll be something that we can take a look at moving forward. So again, unfortunately, we did have a last second, con uh, a last second cancellation on that. Um, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and move on to our next one, which is the welcoming and diversity. And I believe we have a speaker that I will go ahead and turn over. Uh, Les, if you want to come on up to the podium. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> um, if I make a comment on what, one of the things that Ruvain said, um, yeah, he urged to, um, to pick somebody local in, in getting the... Uh, the rap. Um, 
I would uh, I would strongly uh, encourage. We have local um, companies that not companies, but at least one, maybe two, uh, locally, like in Reynoldsburg, and or or either Reynoldsburg or member of the Chamber of Commerce that they can do that kind of stuff. And I would encourage that even if it's um, even if it's a little a few dollars higher, but you know keep the business local. And, and I would just say that you know I that I would I'm a big proponent of keeping it local. Um, the um, diversity committee, um, I um, touched base with John, who is kind of ramrodding, keeping everybody together right now. Uh, we had a problem. Uh, we have a problem with participation. Uh, we have um, we had a Zoom uh, meeting this week, uh, last uh, yeah this week um, Sunday, and it was just John and I. Um, Last time I was here, it was just me. Um, we have a problem with getting people to, to commit. Um, John is working on it. Uh, we have uh, Jandina Bauer-Strong, who uh, stepped up and um, volunteered to be a chairman because Tatiana couldn't, be, uh, couldn't do it. Uh, she's too busy right now. Uh, she stepped up and be, will be our chair. We're going to have a, a Zoom meeting later this week uh, just among us to try to see if we can sort it out and see if we can get some commitment. Uh, right now, the big thing is to get commitment. People to, to say, hey, you're going to be on this committee. We, we need to get something done for you, for the, for the city, for the mayor. And, you know, there's a number of things that we have to do. And, you know, if we don't have the commitment, then, you know, we, 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 it's a problem. So we're, we're working on it and we're trying to work it out. Um, as Ruvain said, uh, the yard sign uh, project is on uh, is going. Ruvain uh, offered to uh, design it. Uh, we have some ideas. Uh, John has some ideas. He shared it with the committee, and <clears throat> and I understand that we have some money set aside for that. Is we do that have some that we can use. Yes. Is that correct? Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, they wanted to know because you know the yard signs uh, are quite um, quite expensive to to produce. Uh, so far, we have not found any uh, any donors, uh, but uh, short of that, you know, we may have to spend some money. Um, the uh, cultural festival is still planned for uh, May 21st. Uh, we have um, uh, that's that's a project that I'm doing with Susan from the chamber, uh, and uh, we have six or eight uh, acts already committed for you know, singing, dancing, um, food, um, artwork, um, you know, some, some of these acts are, you know, and, and they're very, very diverse multicultural acts uh, from, from various uh, cultures. Um, I'm meeting with the schools uh, uh, next Thursday to, to walk through the, the, um, the high school to see, see where everything logistically, where everything is going to be, um, and um, you know we're going forward, um, and that's that's you know hopefully that will turn into an annual thing. All right, um, I did notice that there was a, another event that I don't know if the schools are sponsoring that was a multicultural event as well, um, I, but I, I thought I saw the date was in April, but this is that's a separate event than what you're referring to. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a some that's something that. Um, uh, Kelly um, Gadert and um, Joe Sorensen are doing. Uh, with the, it's it's only for, with the kids. It's only okay. with the high school kids. Right. Uh, we asked them to be part of our uh, May first, May twenty first um, uh, project, but they, they declined. Okay, so, but that's a different thing. Okay, all right. Well, we'll ours uh, is a community wide thing, and I think theirs is just a. All right. Well, I look forward to it as always, and thank you for the information. And hopefully we can uh, get some of those designs for the yard signs before we get too deep into uh, our, our season. Uh, obviously, you know, farmer's market is probably going to be a good target to see if we can get that taken care right. of by, the, by that uh, first yeah, week in the outdoor June. season is going to be a good one to, to start with that. So. All right. Well, thank you for that. Um, and again, you know, for those of you again watching at home, you know, I did mention that we're going to try and move back to having Zoom, so maybe that would be a little bit easier for people to attend. Uh, we all know that everybody has a lot of demands on their time, um, and so it is a sacrifice to kind of volunteer in this regard, but it is well worth it, and we can get accomplish some great things. Uh, and I, then we'll go I, from there. You know, I appreciate that. That's, you know, that is, uh, 
you know, unfortunately, that's the way a lot of a lot of committees and a lot of groups are doing that, just because of the convenience, not mm -hmm. because they don't want to come here. It's, yeah. it's just convenient, and we can get the same thing done. Absolutely. So. All right. With that, I will go ahead and close the welcoming. Oh, actually, one other thing. I did get a message for those of you watching at home. Um, if you are interested in uh, volunteering for part of the Welcoming and Diversity Committee, and in this case, well, there is a kind of a group uh, that is becoming uh, cr being created uh, for the uh, Pride Festival that the City of Reynoldsburg will be hosting in June, uh, please let uh, please go ahead and send that information uh, to uh, contact information to City Hall. Uh, you can send it to my assistant uh, Jay Rosenthal at ci.reynoldsburg.oh.us. And yes, we are working on getting better and more efficient email addresses. Um, but if you're interested in working for that, for this, uh, volunteering for that commission, volunteering here for this or Juneteenth or any of the other events that we do have in the city, we welcome that as always. So I just got that uh, buzzed into me in the last minute uh, as we were kind of going through. Okay. Uh, with that, I will go ahead and close uh, the uh, Welcoming and Diversity Committee. Uh, we do have our next meeting will be on April 13th, I believe. Uh, April 13th will be our next um, community commission meeting where traffic and transportation and the military recognition committee will be there. Uh, the military recognition one will be important because that is actually our last meeting before our um, Memorial Day ceremony uh, is going to be in place. So hopefully by that point in time, we'll have some ideas on uh, some of the monument displays that will be going in. Uh, with that, thank you all for joining us. Again, if you have any questions, feel free and email us here at the city. In the meantime, uh, enjoy what is left of the sun, and thanks for joining.